Hey, Thomas Tapp here, and in this video, I got an awesome in-home strength circuit I'm gonna share with you. If you're in the situation where I know a lot of us probably experience this, um, you're looking to develop strength, you're looking also to, some of us may just want to develop the upper body, you know, have good looking chest, arms, and full body. Um, if you're looking to develop strength and do it fast, uh, this circuit that I'm gonna share with you is a circuit that is simple and that I've been using for the past six or seven years. I started using this early on in my training and this circuit was how I went from, because I played soccer and cross country back in the day a long time ago and so my legs were pretty built up but I had a pretty weak upper body and if any of us out there have weaknesses in the upper body or lower body, you want to increase your jump, you're looking to be able to do some pull-ups, master your pull-ups. I was able to go from not being able to do very many pull-ups uh, maybe one or two, to being able to do 20 pull-ups, start working into my one-arm pull-up, also getting my one-arm push-up, um, being able to have enough strength to be able to compete and do well and on the testing of Ninja Warrior. So this circuit, I owe a lot of that to this because I did this consistently, my brother and I did, we did this consistently for years. Um, and this is where I owe a lot of my strength gains and also I sculpted my upper body you know, where you have a, a nice looking chest, arms, uh, abs as well, and the lower body. But again, I had lower body taken care of. So this circuit's gonna help you out in all those things. So write this down, because I'm gonna give you a list of things, and really start doing this, because it's simple. You can do it in home, like I was talking about. So whenever it's cold outside, it's rainy, or you just uh, don't have much time, you can do this and see a lot of awesome results. So in this circuit, we're gonna follow a basic pattern with our exercises. We're gonna start off with an upper body exercise, then we're gonna to switch to lower body exercise, then back to an upper body exercise, then back to a lower body exercise, and then finish off with a core exercise. And then at the end of that round, rest one to two minutes, and then go on to the next round. And for the reps with all of these, you wanna fit your fitness level. You wanna find a good sweet spot. We want to perform you know, enough reps where we get a good workout but we don't wanna burn ourselves out by the end of the circuit. So find that sweet spot of just reaching the point of failure but not burning yourself out. So here are the exercises that we're gonna be doing and we're gonna be switching them up slightly each round. And for this, I found that when gaining strength, gaining it fast, it helps to change grips, to change the type of motion that we're doing so we're activating different muscles. So for example, the first exercise we're gonna be doing is the pull. -up. We're just gonna go with the standard uh, shoulder width pull up. Now, if this is too advanced, if you haven't gotten to the pull up, perform the modified pull up instead. On the second round, we're gonna be performing chin ups. The third round, we're gonna be performing side grip pull ups. And then the fourth round, we're gonna be performing the opposite side grip pull up. Then the second exercise, the lower body exercise, we're gonna be performing squat jumps. Now, if the squat jump is a little too hard on your joints, then bring it down a notch and just perform air squats or mobility squats. And we're gonna be performing these squat jumps every single round. The third exercise, another upper body exercise, we're gonna be performing the standard push-up. Again, just like the pull-up, each round we're gonna switch it up a little bit. The second round, we're gonna be performing narrow grip or diamond grip push-ups. Third round, we're gonna be performing wide grip push-ups. And then the fourth round, we're gonna be performing extended push-ups. On the fourth exercise, it's going to be another lower body exercise. We're going to be performing lunge jumps or lunges, depending again if you want to take the impact on the joints or how intense you want to make this. We're going to be performing these lunge jumps or lunges on all four rounds. Then the fifth and final exercise of the round, we're going to be performing a core exercise. This is going to be the straight plank. And we're going to be changing it up with each round. On the second round, we're going to be performing the left side plank. Then on the third round, we're going to be performing the right side plank. And then on the fourth round, we're gonna be forming the inverted plank with your stomach facing the sky. So that completes the exercises that we're gonna be doing for this circuit. Remember, the biggest takeaway is following that pattern, upper body, lower body, upper body, lower body, core during your circuit. And then also switching up the grips or the style of motion while you're doing, specifically, I found results with the upper body exercises. So the push-ups and the pull-ups. And then for some of you more advanced, guys out there. One I would recommend, you know, throwing in there at times, maybe interchanging this, is performing circular motions with your pull-ups 
for your push-ups. I found this to be really good for targeting muscles that I usually don't hit just doing my standard pull-up or push-up. So start implementing this circuit into your training three times a week, take a rest day in between, and you're gonna see some awesome results, especially if you stay consistent with this. So subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. There's a link in the description. If you want more workouts like this, check that out. Also leave a comment if you have any strength tips or training that has helped you in the past that might help others as well. Also leave a comment below with any questions or tutorial ideas that you want us to shoot. As always, train safe. I'll see you in the next video.